2015 marks the 50th anniversary of an historic space flight. Back in the day, WTBT's Versa Mobile was hired by the networks to supply tape covers of the splashdowns. Remember they landed with at sea splashdowns for the Mercury program and later the Gemini missions. One of our production people, Doug Eibel, will narrate a little history video to describe what happened 50 years ago. WTVT's busy mobile unit was taken by crane and lifted onto an aircraft carrier for recording the recovery of the Mercury space program. WTVT engineers and crew spent days aboard ship to prepare for the big moment. When John Glenn splashed down in Freedom 7, our own Joe Wizicky was there to capture it as heard in this control room feed. Joe, stay with him. That's the greatest bit in the world, Joe. Just say, hey, go in and he'll turn around. Go ahead. Say, hey, Colonel. Hey, say, hey, Colonel. Turn around for TV. Go ahead. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby, Joe. <laughs> oh, brother, what a shot you have, kid. WTVT crews made television history for the first live via satellite recovery of Gemini 6 and 7 in November 1965. The spacecraft has been hauled on board. It's up over the lip of the number three elevator. He's raising the hatch over the command pilot. Captain Shira has his hand up. In back of Howard Minners is Dr. Don Stolkin. The and there's Tom NASA. Stafford. There's Joe Siegel of NASA, one of the technical de debriefers. They're walking slowly along the red carpet, walking toward the sick bay, right along the red carpet, past this row of flags. For the picture transmitted to us uh, for the first time of such a scene, alive, uh, relayed by early bird satellite and uh, back to our home screens. And we cannot possibly express for all of you in this audience who were as excited as we were about seeing these pictures enough thanks to the United States Navy for helping us get the equipment aboard the WASP and permitting us to do it so that you could see that uh, great picture. Fantastic. I'm glad to see that because I wasn't even born when that happened. <laughs> but these guys were. We are so privileged to have four of the gentlemen from that crew, or is it five? Did we add one? Five. Mr. Langham is here too. Okay. Jim Benedict, Peter. <laughs> Frank Silver, John Hester, and John Eiler, and Mr. Langham. I want you all to come down here. Now, okay, so this was, what's cool about it to me is, you were a local television station, obviously a, a, one of the top CBS affiliates in the country. So the network comes to you to say, we want you to provide the coverage. Why was it that way? Why did they delegate the responsibility to the local station and why WTVT? Frank was the crew chief, so he's going to respond to that, but I'll tell you. Because we were the best. Yeah. I have to that. Captain, you the best. You the best. Yes. <laughs> Are we the best Peter? It's always, you know. Seven went up, and, uh, you know, they had to, you know, they, seven went up, and they had to cancel the carrier going out. So, first crew came back. And the second crew, fortunately, for Doug and myself and Frank and John, went out for recovery out of six and seven. So that's how we're going to put that. Okay, so now let me ask you one more question. All right, so 50 years ago, this was a Gemini mission, right? 65? Now you did some Mercury missions as well? Oh, okay. Earlier people from 13 did. Dan Boulder, I think Bob West was on that one. Uh, Freedom. Nick Stratton was out, and uh, Joe Wizzy quite a few people. There were quite a few people in the room that night. But, uh, there were quite a few people in the room that night. Not as many. We had 17 going out. 17 people from the studio, and some freelancers. John was a freelancer. So the studio, of course. Yeah. You guys are talking without going. Yeah. Uh, he was a freelancer because he was the son of our favorite agency at the time, Tony Bernard. So Joe Jr. was in high school, and I was the page at the time. Uh, 
You had paid, there were pages back then, like the network pages? Wow. I was born too late. And, uh, gentlemen, we're honored that you're all here today. Thank you for back then. Thank you for being here today. Um, this illustrates why we're such a wonderful family. Thank you.